Good day, neighbors. This is my first video, so let me introduce myself. My name is Deborah, and I have so much love for God and Jesus that I want to share my lessons on God's Word. So let's begin with a study on ears to hear and how many times Jesus taught this statement or parable. Part of the mystery of the kingdom is Jesus used this statement seven times when teaching us. After the crucifixion, Jesus used this statement one time, teaching in the book of Revelation, altogether eight times. And Jesus was the only person to use this statement. Here is the first time. Let's get our Bibles out and turn to Luke 8, 5. But first, let's ask God for the word of wisdom through Jesus Christ. Amen. Luke 8, 5. The parable of the sower reads, A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trotted down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. So let's stop and think about what the seed is. Jesus tells us that the seed is the Word of God. Who trotted the seed down? Well, Satan did. it. And if you don't take root of the Word of God, you will be led into the ways of this world. The fowls of the ear devoured it. What is the fowls of the ear? This is Satan's army, and you can check it out in Revelations 9, 9, on your own free time. Luke 8, 6, and it reads, And some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away, because it lacked moisture. Why did it lack moisture? Well, it's because it had no roots in the Word of God and the seed withered away. Stay in God's word and keep your roots deep. Luke 8, 7, and it reads, And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up with it and choked it. Okay, who are the thorns? The thorns go back to the book of Genesis, Cain and the Kenites. Cain was the first murderer. Was he not? If you do not understand this, put it on a shelf and we will learn more about it as we go. Luke 8, 8, and it reads, And others fell on good ground, and sprung up, and bared fruit, and hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried. This is Jesus crying out. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. Okay, now the seed grew, which is God's word. Good-hearted, honest people kept the truth of God's word and spread God's word by planting a seed. So be patient when you are spreading a seed because only God can make it grow. I do not want to read past the part in Luke 8:8 8, 8, where Jesus cried, "He that has ears to hear, let him hear." So this parable is the seed of God's word. In Luke 8:10 through 18, Jesus will tell you what the parable means. So please go read it to show yourself approved. In the next place where we see Jesus use the parable, ears to hear, is in Matthew 11:7. I will upload this study, which is part two, in a few days. Meanwhile, go ahead and make a study of it to show yourself approved. I hope you enjoyed the study of Ears to Hear Part 1. If you have a different opinion after reading Luke 8, 10 through 18, 
leave a comment. But please, let's be Christians about it. Oh, just one more thing. God loves all of his children, and he will never leave you or forsake you if you love him enough to read the love letter that he sent to all of us. Until next time, be well, be kind, and spread a seed of God's truth. Amen.